What's going on guys? God bless you. Carl's here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Today's video, uh, I hope it doesn't create controversy. It's the battle of headlight restorations. I hope this video kind of makes sense. Um, but I want to talk about two types of headlight restorations uh, one that uh, I call a paint enhancement and uh, or a headlight enhancement I'm sorry headlight enhancement and a headlight restoration those are two different things two different pricing two ways of doing it what's the best way that's what this video is about so stick around and uh, we're gonna continue cleaning these headlights starting with 400 grit to I know to some of you guys this is probably too far taking it too far um, but I love starting in this kind of form we're gonna go 400 we're going to sand right now what I'm doing I am pretty much starting to remove everything that's uh, on this headlight such as light oxidation uh, residue just everything uh, and usually it'll be like yellowish right because we're taking off the the top layer of the like of the plastic I guess if that makes sense but we're doing up and down motions headlight restoration is actually a very solid uh, add-on for your um, package uh, obviously, it just takes a lot of, I'd say, some technique to some form um, because you can make or create some damage if you don't, um, if you really don't know what you're doing, um, you may take the headlight too far. And at that point, you can't, um, it's not repairable. And always, as you're doing headlights, just be patient with it. Um, that way, it can air out, right? Usually, the headlight will start airing out. And you'll start seeing the areas where maybe it needs a little bit more attention. This one is looking really, really good. What you want is just that nice flow of lines. Uh, you, don't, you don't want your lines going everywhere. So, if you start... Some do it circular motion, right? If you're starting the circular motion, do it all through the headlight. Don't switch it up because once you start switching directions um, on the headlight, <laughs> it creates a big problem. Just a tip, uh, but this is gonna look really, really good. We are using uh, 800 uh, grit, 800 grit um, to start the blending stage. And I'm just going up and down, down the headlight. And this is what we call the blending stage because now you're starting to blend uh, the passes or you're starting to blend the previous uh, sand, sanding. So every time you go up in number, you're just blending it in. In theory, you're gonna make the headlight look, look clear and clear uh, as you go high in the number. That's why it's important to have tape because sometimes you'll be rubbing into the paint and you don't want that because now you got to polish the paint or the bumper. But anyways, in a recent video from another detailer that I had seen, he did a headlights. Um, I was watching his YouTube channel and he just polished, literally grabbed his polisher, uh, polished the headlights and that was uh, his headlight restoration. Now, by all means, I think we all do it differently. There is many ways, I guess, to do this. But for me, what that detailer did was a headlight enhancement. Uh, so in my package, uh, I offer two types of packages. A headlight enhancement, which is literally 
Uh, we're just gonna polish the headlight, make it look good, and that's it. And then we have a headlight restoration. For me, this is the true definition of headlight restoration because you are removing, you know, everything that this headlight could have, right? And then we are polishing it to, to new. Now, many will say, some might agree, some might disagree, and that's okay. Uh, all feedback is welcome. So let me know in the, in the comment section what you guys think if what my theory is. Is this, is just polishing a headlight, is just polishing a headlight, a headlight restoration. And like I said, in my opinion, that is not a headlight restoration, really. Uh, as far as pricing goes, right, I have two types of pricing. Just a headlight enhancement. Come in, polish it real quick. I'm going to charge you probably uh, $80 or maybe $50, depending how they look. $50 to $80. Just a quick polish, and that's it. This one here is $150. For both headlights, we're sanding them down. We're going to polish them nicely, and then we're going to coat them, right? The coating is going to help. Uh, prolong the durability as well um, so to me you know be very transparent with your customers don't don't overcharge them if all you're doing is just polishing the headlights don't charge them an arm and a leg because guess what in a couple months probably or less that headlight is gonna come right back to how it was before because all you did was just polish it, right? So, you know, I definitely want to know in the comment section what you guys think of of, of uh, what I said. If, if you agree, let me know. Or if you disagree, let me know in the comment section. The question I get asked a lot is, how do I know how the headlight is going to look, right? Uh, and that's a very easy way or this this what I'm about to show you is truly a, a perfect way to uh, For you to see your work, right? So what I have in here is just plain water and when you just throw the water on it The water will give you the representation of how your headlight will look once you polish it out, right? so if 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 I need to know how I'm doing right usually after it dries I'll hit it with the water and this here is going to show me just a kind of a quick visual as to if I was to stop right now and polish and do whatever this is kind of how it would look right so that's just a quick tip uh, if you never thought of that or maybe nobody maybe demonstrated to you is when you hit it with the water that headlight starts turning clear and as you keep sanding it down right now i'm using 1500 and as you keep sanding this headlight the the water just keep uh keeps getting clear and clear so it's the perfect way for you to see your work right to just double check and and see how your headlight is going to look is just spray some water on it uh, and the water will tell you exactly uh, the finished product, what you're chasing. And this car is finally done. Uh, I'm gonna show you really quick 
the clips of the after of this headlight uh, but really quick just want to recap in the uh, headlight versus uh, headlight restoration versus headlight enhancement right which one is the best fit for your customer it really depends at the end of the day what uh, kind of packages you offer uh, but uh, we use from 400 grit all the way up to 3000 grit on this vehicle uh, and they came out really uh, really really good to be honest um, we used after the headlight rest or after setting it down we ended up going with uh, a wool pad on a rotary that's going to create uh, the most heat in the least amount of time uh, with a lake country wool pad and then we followed it up with coach kemi uh, so i paired the first step the heavy cut uh, coach kemi uh, h9 with the wool pad followed by um, coach kemi f6 on a medium pad and then i finished it off using m302 um, which is by coach kemi that's their final um like the lightest cut which is going to give you the most gloss i tend to do it like that you don't have to you don't have to do so many steps like i did right and then we did our panel prep and we used uh chronos uh we used chronos um, by phoenix and i gotta tell you when i opened up that bottle oh my god that thing is strong so it's very potent uh literally as soon as i opened the cap i could smell it so it is a very uh, strong odor of a ceramic coating uh, and that's literally <coughs> the last step I do uh, to the vehicles uh, with this package. Again, a enhancement usually runs me around $80 which is literally just put a buffer to the headlight, remove the oxidation, polish it out and that's it. Headlight restoration is a little bit more money, usually runs about $150 and sometimes takes me about an hour hour and a half maybe two depending on how the head likes it to some it doesn't make sense you know but to you know to me it makes sense in the fact of we're gonna give the customer just some nice headlights now the question a lot of you guys ask is how long does this last right to be honest headlights are very finicky especially lexus some they prolong their they last i've had a customer i did a restoration on and they're doing well it all falls down to the maintenance after right if you wash the car if you apply like a sealant a spray it'll keep the headlights um you know maintained but obviously uh, as far as my type of warranty i'm always honest with the customers if anything happens to the headlights if they start fading by any means or you know just contact me and i'll gladly come and take care of them um that's just part of business uh is if it happens it happens and i gotta come back and redo them and i have no problem with that um so you put that into consideration put your price into consideration right if you think 150 is too low charge 200 i know some people charge like 350 dollars for headlight restorations right put the price based off what you think if but for me 150 it's very doable it's manageable customers won't really like complain on the price if that makes sense um and at the end of the day i keep saying that money is not the important thing for me is really just giving the customer value at a price they can afford if that makes sense so hopefully uh, in the battle of headlight enhancement <coughs> versus headlight restoration let me know which one you think is best which ones or what's your pricing right uh, in your area so as always uh, thank you so much for watching today's video guys um, if i don't make a video before new year's i hope you guys have a great new year's uh, thanks so much for supporting uh, the channel this year um, and I can't wait to see what uh, what's in store next year, right? Hopefully uh, more good things. Anyways, God bless you guys. I'll catch you guys on the next video.